What you're looking at is my latest project. It's a quantity of three of the 100 watt Harbor Freight solar panels. Uh, they're on top of a nine foot pedestal. Three inch solid steel on a concrete slab. Okay, let's take a look at the distribution box at the base of this pedestal. If you'll notice, I have three switches, one for each panel. I can toggle them on or off. Uh, that allows me to adjust how much current I need and also a testing purpose for the uh, panels. Uh, below is where it's going into the ground via conduit to the uh, main panel. And let's walk over and take a look at the main panel. I'm going to go ahead and turn these on. We'll be getting full current. Okay, it's cycling back and forth. It's charging so quick. This meter right here is a 30 amp meter and it's pegging at 18 amps. That's from the Harbor Freight panel. 300 watts. It's such a large amount of current coming in that my batteries are already charged and it's just cycling back and forth. I have four deep cycle batteries. Uh, it gives me 480 amp hour capacity. Something I forgot to mention about the panels is I have a point here where I can turn it and adjust the angle whenever the inclination of the earth's axis changes I can uh, repoint it toward the sun and get the maximum amount of current I think the project turned out really nice uh, these panels are really amazing this morning at 8.30, I had all three panels in service, and I was getting 6 amps at uh, 8.30. At 9 o'clock, I was getting 8 amps. At 9.30, I was getting 10 amps, and the sun was still at a sharp angle. So these panels are very sensitive. They don't have to have a direct ray from the sunlight to be efficient. I'm very impressed with these panels, I would like to say. And I hope you enjoyed that video.